Welcome to growing your own food in your own backyard. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button. A lot of you have been asking me to do an update on my pineapple plant. So I decided to go ahead and do that. I am doing a whole series on growing pineapples in the northern climate and zone 5B, which is very possible when you're growing them in containers. You provide them with the right conditions when you put them outdoors and provide them with the right conditions when you overwinter them indoors or in a greenhouse. My pineapple plants are three years old and if you look at my past videos, you will see that I have used a number of methods to force fruiting on my pineapples. And unfortunately, they seem to just be taking their little sweet time fruiting. Pineapples do take their time fruiting. Sometimes it can be up to three to four years, maybe five years for those uh, 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 gardeners that have been able to cause their have been able to uh, get fruits on their pineapples grown in containers growing in a northern garden and in a northern climate excuse me so I've seen uh, growers get fruits as early as three years and some as late as five years my pineapple plants do go through an adjustment when I'm bringing them from outside to indoors and from indoors to outdoors, so I don't know if that's slowing the process. But I'm really excited about just how healthy they've been and how well they're growing. This particular pineapple plant right here just got up potted. So if you look at the photo above, you would see where I had moved it from a smaller container and it was very root bound and I moved it into this container. Look at my series of how I started the pineapple plants and where I'm at three years later. Now something very interesting has developed with my pineapple plants and I wanna take you along and show you. This is so cool. My pineapple plants are getting pups, also known as side shoots. So I have a pineapple pup here, and I have one over here. And then if you go to this pineapple plant, I have a size shoot or a pup here, and I have one coming up here. Now, I thought that was kind of odd that I would get pups or shoots bef uh, before the pineapple fruited. But I was told this was normal. When pineapples do take their sweet time to fruit, you still can get pups. I've also learned that when you remove the pups and put them in a container to grow, they will fruit a lot quicker than the parent plant. So that was exciting to learn. I have a dilemma though. I have three large pineapple containers that have got to go indoors in the next 30 days. I'm in zone 5B and I've got to make room. And if I put these pups, one, two, three, four, in containers, I'm gonna have a lot of pineapples. Unlike those that are growing in subtropics or, sub, or, or tropical climates, where they can just put them outdoors. So this has been an interesting challenge, but I'm gonna prove that I can grow pineapples in zone 5B and get fruits. So what I need to do right now is I need to remove this pup right over here. Based on my research, when pineapple pups gets close to eight inches or 12 inches tall, you do need to remove it because A, you don't want to send a message out to the parent plant that is uh, to, to stop trying to fruit and you will overcrowd the container. So this is going to be my first time trying to remove this pup and I'm going to put it in a container. So let me grab the container. My understanding is I would have to gently pull this, 
pull this pup up like this and then I would have to cut it. Now I've seen some people actually twist, twist it to remove it. And this is what I'm gonna attempt to do. And lo and behold, I was successful. I even have roots. So look at the hole that it was in. So I had to do research. Some will cut it and say, oh, don't worry about the roots, it will grow. Others said twist it and pull it. So here's the pup, it's eight inches long. This is how long you want the size shoot to get before you plant it. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in a container that I've already prepared for it. Now this soil is sandy soil. So I used um, a good potting mix and I also added sand and um, other, and oh yeah, and my um, compost. So I'm gonna go ahead and plant that right now. Oh, I also added worm casting. So I've got worm casting, compost, potting soil, and sand because pineapples like their soil loose and they don't like to set in really wet soil, just barely moist. So there you have it. I have now created my fourth pineapple plant from a size shoot of the parent plant. I don't want this parent plant to think that it's not supposed to stop trying to put out a fruit. Once this pup or this size shoot over here gets to this size, I'm going to have to put it in a container. So as you can see, I'm going to have about four of these <laughs> before the summer month is over, the summer season is over. And we will see. This has been a really cool project and I have been really excited about sharing it with my, my uh, viewers and show my success, do's and don'ts. One of the things I did this season that I will not do again is our climate is very fickle and we also like to refer to it as being uh, unpredictable and uh, uh, there's another word I'm trying to come up with to, to explain our climate. Uh, but anyhow, sometimes we have spring, and sometimes we don't. And uh, bipolar, that's what I was trying to come up with. I put the pineapple plants a out a little too early. The climate tricked us. It decided to be bipolar. We were having nice spring weather. The temperature was above 55 degrees. And then we had a cold snap right toward the tail end of, um, of May. This is when we were getting a lot of rain. The rain was great, but it was causing the nighttime temperatures to lower and my plants did suffer a little bit from it, but I had to keep it covered. So a little bit of trial and error that this is a tropical plant, knowing how our climate is, I need to put these out a little later and therefore I would wait until about June to put it out. So I just want to give you an update on growing pineapple in a northern climate, Zone 5B, some new discoveries that I'm really excited about. And hopefully I will continue checking the center of each one of these plants to see if I see a little red color at the center. And if I do, I know I'm getting fruits. So thank you for watching. I'd love to hear your comments for those that have been successful at growing pineapples in Zone 5B. And don't forget to hit the like button.